This is question 11. Here we're told that the value of a motorbike depreciates by 20% each year. We're told that Brian says after two years the value of the motorbike will have reduced by 40%. Then we're told that he is wrong and we're asked to explain why. Now to demonstrate why he is wrong what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a quick table and I'm going to have the amount of money that uh, Brian has at the start or the cost of the bike at the start and the cost at the end for each year. So year one and then year two. So at the start of year one, now we're not told how much the motorbike will cost but what we can say is that at the start of year one, uh, let's just call it X. Okay, because we don't know how much the motorbike is costing. But if we start with X, at the end of the year, we're told that the cost of the bike depreciates by 20%. So if a car, if a bike is depreciating by 20%, then what we can say is if we were to get from our starting amount to our ending amount, we would simply multiply using a percentage multiplier, so a 20% reduction, we would multiply by 0 0.8. So what we can say is that x multiplied by 0 0.8, at the end of the first year, the bike would be worth 0.8x. At the start of the second year then, that means that the bike will be worth 0.8x. And then to get to the end of the year, because it depreciates by 20% each year, that's kind of the important statement. That means that to get from the amount that I've got at the start of year two to the amount that I've got at the end of year two, I'm going to have to multiply again by 0.8 because it's reducing by 20%. And a reduction of 20%, our percentage multiplier would be 0.8. So now I'm doing 0.8x multiplied by 0.8x and that's going to give me 0.64x so at the end of the second year so after two years the value of the bike will be 0.64x now what does that represent then as a reduction of the original amount well if it is 0.64x what we can say is that that is a 36% reduction in the price. So, why is Brian wrong, or explain why he is wrong? He is wrong because rather than it being a 40% reduction, it's going to be a 36% reduction. And we can see that from the amount that we have at the end of year two, 0.64x, or we can think of that as being 64% of what we started with. And obviously 64% of what we started with would equate to a 36% reduction.